the past few weeks, we've been showing you some of the artwork carved into fields of corn around our area. We found 10 local corn mazes perfect for some fall fun. Meteorologist and Sky Drone 12 pilot TJ Del Santo shows us this year's crop of mazes. TJ? They really are works of art. Some farms didn't make a corn maze this year, due in part to weather or lack of help or a combination of both. But the ones that we found certainly didn't disappoint. Escobar Farm is the heart of New England. That's what is carved into this maze of corn. With a map of New England and a cow smiling down from Maine, you could wander around this field for a couple of hours. Spring Hill Sugar House in Richmond has their apple cider ready for you. A perfect treat after getting lost in their large maze of maize. At Clark Farms in Matunic, you'll have to escape from Alcatraz to find your way out. Getting out of the rock, as it's known, will be tricky. Some farms didn't make a maze this year, due in part to lack of help and the weather. Some weathered through, however. We just had so much rain this year. Adams Farm in Cumberland found some of their corn wouldn't grow as high because of the soggy summer. But we got creative and we made probably one of the largest hay mazes in New England. The hay maze sits next to their still very large corn maze with a scavenger hunt inside. A salute to Rhode Island. That's what Confreda Farms in Cranston is giving with their maze. Their Rhode Island Strong recognizes the tough year and a half the state has had. And they brought their haunted corn maze back for their scary acres attraction. At Cucumber Hill Farm in Foster, they have plenty of pumpkins and one of the larger corn mazes around. And they offer flashlight mazes every Saturday night. And right on over to Salisbury Farm in Johnston. That's the theme, ride on. Carved into the corn is a girl riding her horse, which they say is their granddaughter. And for a lot more information on these corn mazes and a couple more in our area, you can go to our website at WPRI.com. I'm TJ Del Santo, 12 News.